Well, finding a Burmese python in your backyard sounds like a bad dream. It really is. Yes, but it, it may be closer to reality than you think. It's one of the many invasive species that are devastating America's ecosystems. CBSN Originals correspondent Adam Yamaguchi recently went to the Florida Everglades to show us how people are fighting the threat. Wow. Oh, my God. You got to understand, I love these animals. I love all animals, you know. Uh, when I look at this, it's like, how many of our native animals did this thing eat mm. to get that size? Yeah. And how many more will it eat if you left it out there? So the, the Everglades that you have come to know and love have changed forever because of this animal? Yeah, absolutely. In their native habitat, predators keep their population under control. In Florida's Everglades, there's hardly anything to stop them except hunters like Donna. I'll keep, I'll keep a hold of his head so he doesn't bite you. Ow. Wow, that is freakish. The strength of this is incredible. Another year and he'll be able to breed, and first year or so he'll probably have 15 to 25 eggs. And you know, when they get to be 18 feet, they can have over 100 eggs in them. So they're just breeding like, you know, breeding like crazy. I'm recoiling just watching that. Adam Yamaguchi, you're a braver man than I am. <laughs> the state actually pays people like Donna to hunt these, these snakes. How successful is that? Well, they've put a small dent in the overall population. They've caught over 1,000 or so, which sounds great, except there are an estimated tens of thousands of these snakes in the Everglades. And the scary part is, since they've basically devoured most of the native mammal species in the Everglades, they're now starting to venture out in search of food. Mm. And are there other ways to, to combat them? <laughs> are we supposed to be comforted by that? <laughs> no. That's why you started like, off by saying I'm, that's the scary part. Yeah, like I can't bring bad news. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, one of the most innovative efforts really is the market. Um, in, in this doc, we not only look at the python, but we explore the Asian carp as well as the lionfish, which are decimating their adopted ecosystems. And the market really may be, may be the solution. Um, people are trying to essentially commercialize these fish as the next great protein. All right, it's fascinating. Adam, thank you very much. You can watch the CBS and original Burmese Python invasion online right now at cbsnews.com slash python. And CBS and will air a one-hour special with a live Q&A session on Sunday night at 8 Eastern, 7 Central.